Yep, parts magnets back at it again. Now this time uh, I'm going to be replacing the sway bar end links and the sway bar bushings. So, brand new sway bar end link. And as you can see, I've already knocked the sway bar loose. Uh, that one came loose, 17 millimeter, broke loose pretty easy. I drove it back with a hammer and a chisel, knocked it right on out. You can see where I hit with the chisel. My next step is to get the other side jacked up disconnect this piece and start breaking these bolts loose okay so we're over here on the driver's side now now what i've done is i've loosened up this bolt and of course 17 millimeter well that fit it a little tight on this side so maybe this one's been replaced uh my next step was to take this big splitting splitting Whatever these things are called, they're split for splitting wood. But I use it as a chisel. Uh, put it right up there and hit it with a big hammer. Now, my big hammer is this Klein tool hammer that I picked up at a yard sale for five bucks. Um, I don't know, it might be a five pound hammer, but I paid five bucks for it. So, good deal there. But if you're working on suspension, you need a good hammer. Uh, beat in on it, and simple, popped right on through. Now, since I didn't have to beat the ever-loving snot out of it, it loosens up. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this up, maybe. <laughs> and uh, we'll get over here and start working on this. Now, I don't know if this is the right one, but it seems to fit, but it's a 5 8 deep wheel. And I've already busted the driver's side loose. The front one was kind of hard, even with this even with this big old bad boy of an impact so let's see how it works on this side Yeah. All right, I got all four bolts out. Just drops out. Uh, of course, it kind of gets hung up in the suspension when you do it, so it doesn't really fall on you. Um, I had one of the bolts fall out from up there after I did it. They latch back in and just slide back in in a groove. So if that falls out, don't freak out like I did. Uh, just slides back in the groove. Really interesting little feature. But. Uh, Guess it's time for me to go ahead and strip this down and go ahead and cut those brackets off because it's easier just to cut them off for those uh, pieces over here in the end. Put the brand new ones on. I'm thinking about going ahead and scuffing it and put a coat of paint on it before I put it back. So I ground down the rough areas with my grinder and a flap disc and uh, sprayed everything down with some rust reformer. So starting to look better than what it was. So I might scuff that when it dries and uh, get a coat of primer on it and maybe, I don't know what color paint. I might paint it green. Nah, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but a coat of paint. So I got my end links on. They're tightened down finger tight or a little bit more than finger tight. But I was going ahead and putting these bushings on and uh, I had to pay a little bit extra for these when I went to the store and bought them. I'd had someone on order, but the guy canceled them on me, so I went to my local parts store and uh, paid almost twice as what I was paying for the other ones. Actually, a little bit more than twice, but when I was installing them, that made me feel a little bit better. Made in the USA, so at least I'm putting on a made in America part. Okay, so I slid the driver's side up first slid the top bolt of that end link through the spindle and put a nut on it just loose then i did that to the other side and then i came up underneath here and lifted this up and i'm going to recommend you if you're doing this yourself put in the first one the front one first 
Um, it's a little bit easier because if you put the back one in, it just everything just seems to wobble and not work right. And I will say, having an impact or something like this is a true back saver. Uh, I don't think I could have done this. I would I would have still been working on it without this piece. So um, yeah, having the right tools makes a job a lot simpler. So I just need to uh, tighten up those and that one on both sides and uh, should be done. So the new end links come with um, a hexagon shaft in there for an Allen key, but I didn't even need it on this side. The driver's side, I had to use it on the bottom, but wasn't, probably could have gotten away without it. Nice little feature though. Well, I'm all buttoned up. Time to put on the wheels. Now I got the wheels back on. Got all my tools cleaned up. And I think I need to take it for a test drive. Now, if you like what you saw and you want to see more of what I've done to my vehicle here, check out my channel. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow. Feel like it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. Nice. I don't want to go to work because my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that paid.